Hello friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV and welcome to our super fun review of Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 1 called Dragonstone. Yeah, it, it is. It was super fun. <laughs> Can I talk about the opening, though? Please. The opening was super fun. Okay. Why? So, it, because it was one of those pre-credit sequences, mm. so uh, a scene before the opening. Right. And um, this is where we see Walder Frey. Wait, what Wait. do you mean we see Walder Frey? I thought, aren't, I thought he... Isn't he dead? Didn't what, he die? Is this a flashback? I'm so confused at Me what's too. going on here. So Walder's like addressing his family. Right. And then we learn that it's not Walder Frey, it's Arya. Yeah, because people start dropping like flies and they're all dying. I'm like, what is what is the meaning of this? It was amazing. Yeah. And he um lets one of the Frey house free. Yes. He. Yes. And she um tells her, uh, when people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. And then all the people are, like, dying. That's what's up. Good job, oh, Arya. Because she had Arya. a little mask, right? Yeah. She made that mask mm-hmm. when she killed him. That's why she cuts them here, so she can make the mask. Yeah. Oh. oh. There you go. <laughs> very, very um, satisfying moment. Yeah, very, it really was. Confusing at first, but yes, turned worth out it. perfectly. Worth it. Good job. Yes. yes. Okay. And then we get to see the army of the dead. <laughs> we you love know, that We miss them. The with their giants. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. And they're like thousands and thousands of mm-hmm. people. And then we get to go and we see Bran. Mm-hmm. So we realize it's actually he who is seeing them because he's, right. you know, it's his the, vision. the three eyed raven. He yes. is. Mm-hmm. He's the all knowing, all seeing yes. mm-hmm. three eyed raven. He yeah. sees everything all at once past, present, future. He sees it all. That must be overwhelming. Probably. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So he and Mira arrive at the wall and then Ed, you know, we love Ed. Oh. Ed lets them in. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So that mm-hmm. was kind of cool. Um, and then back at Winterfell, though, uh, there's John. Mm-hmm. He's addressing the crowd. Mm-hmm. And um, Lady Mormont, again, oh, one of like, her. oh my God, she's so little, but yeah. she's so scary. Sassy. Yeah. So she agrees that the girls should also be trained to fight because mm-hmm. that's that was a suggestion. Is like, mm-hmm. well, if these White Walkers are coming. Like, girls are going to need to Everyone. figure this out. Everybody, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and as Sansa and John disagree in front of the other lords and ladies, so they're worried about the like what impression that's going to give if like the two, you know, they're like fighting, right? But you know, that's okay. They're still getting along. Right. Um, and then we learned that Cersei is summoning John to King's Landing, which that just seems like a bad idea. Yeah. yeah sounds a like a idea. trap of some mm-hmm. sort, maybe. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. We don't like that. No. Yeah. Anyway, so speaking of Cersei, uh, Jamie and Cersei are talking about the war that is, like, looming mm-hmm. and all of their enemies. I mean, they have a lot of yes. enemies at this mm-hmm. point, right? It's just, like, you know, them against the world. I mean, that, I think that's what they think, you know? Yeah. Um, so anyway, Cersei... Has no children left, by the way, right? No living children. Yeah, so the only thing that ever made Cersei even somewhat redeemable right? was when she had children because she loves her children. So be like, well, Cersei, well, she's really evil, but she loves her children. At least she loves her children. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now she has no children to love, so that's kind of scary. Scary as Cersei has no children. Right, exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jamie basically tells her, like, we have no allies. Mm-hmm. Like, And she's like, you're on Greyjoy. You're on Greyjoy, by the way. He wants to marry her. Yeah. And she's like, no. Well, he's like, well, I'm going to come back with a gift. Because, you know, the way to a woman's heart is a gift. Totally. So he's going to go get her a gift. He knows her so well. And then she's going to marry him. He's, like, so sassy about it, too. I don't think brains are the the strong suit of the Greyjoy. You know, good luck with that. (laughs) I said it. No, I I agree with you 100%. So, yeah. So, anyway... Let's talk about Sam. Oh, my gosh. At the Citadel. Sam. Sam, one of my favorite characters. Living his best life. Yeah, so he's, like... Or is he? Cleaning poop. He's there to learn and, like, be a maester and, like, all this stuff. But, and we just see, like, shot of shot mean, of him, like... Dumping poop. Poop. Yeah. Dumping soup. Dumping poop. Looks a lot alike. Soup and poop. Soup and poop. Poor Sam. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a, a glamorous life that so, he always wanted to live. He's finally like, I'm just going to steal the keys and go look at the books. Because I'm just like, I'm here for the books. People. I need to change it up a little bit. I've always been all about the books. Yeah. So here I go. So he learns from the books that um, there's a mountain of dragon glass at Dragonstone. What, what better place to be? That's awesome. Yeah, so yeah. he sends a note via Raven. Right. 
um, to John to tell him about um, the dragon glass. And then also we learn in this episode that Jora is there at the Citadel. He's there, like, he's locked like up. in a thing, yeah. In a little cell. Because, yeah. you know, he's got that. Gray that grayscale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. exactly. He needs to be contained. So that's interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then um, Miss Sansa. Mm -hmm. Sansa and Brienne are, like, talking uh, together. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of talking about how, like, they're very suspicious of Littlefinger. Everybody should well, be suspicious of Littlefinger. you're smart, you're suspicious of Littlefinger. Uh, exactly. But obviously, if he was that suspicious, he'd be long gone dead by now. That's so, true. you know, but, like, let's keep an eye on him. Right, exactly. Keep an eye. Right. Yes. So then, um, another Stark sister, Arya, she's just like, you know, she's heading home to hike, Winterfell, hiking, and she happens upon, you know, Ed Sheeran and friends. <laughs> yeah, if y'all missed it, that's Ed Sheeran <laughs> with his little people, and that's totally normal, right? Yes. So and these these men are on their way to King's Landing, yes. and you know, Arya's like, "Wow, you guys are really cool." Yeah, you know what I mean. Um. Anyway, so then she tells him that she's basically, like, going to King kill. King's Landing. Yeah. To they're kill. Like, what you doing there? <laughs> she's going to kill the queen. And they're like, ha, 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 ha. Okay, okay, whatever. She's like, yeah. Oh, I hope she kills Cersei one day. That's the that plan. Would be amazing. That is what we're yes. all aiming for. That's the mm -hmm. goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so now the Hound is also traveling mm -hmm. uh, with his bannerless men who fought the Lord of Light, by the mm -hmm. way. They love the Lord of Light. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> Anyway, um, so, yeah, so he feels a little bit of guilt over, like, the life that he has led. Well, which is why we like him. Exactly. Because he, feel, he feels, like, he actually He's has not heartless. remorse. Yeah, yeah. For sure. He's mm -hmm. not, a, not a sociopath, which I thought he was at first. Yes. Because they happen upon that house with, like, the father and the daughter. That they had come about before, yeah. right? They, yeah. I think when he was with Arya, and he, mm -hmm. like, takes their gold, and yep. he's like, they'll be dead by winter anyway, and they were. Or well, I don't know when they died, but they were like all he was like, like ashy, yeah, yeah. And then, um, but then they make him look into the fire because oh, you know that fire. Yes, well, but I mean, he's scared of fire. He's scared but, of fire, right? No, yeah. they didn't of, like put his face in the fire, right? But he's like looking through like, it. Yeah, just look at the fire, and he's like he sees um he sees the army of the dead. He sees yeah the like Arrowhead Mountain, yes. and then there's like the army of the mm -hmm. dead. So you're like. Yes. Whoa, like he's seeing these visions too. So he because believes. that's what I say, he's yeah. like a non believer. Yes. But at this point, mm -hmm. he's like, oh my gosh, I do. I yes, see it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. So then mm -hmm. Danny's um, troop mm -hmm. arrives at Dragonstone, her ancestral home, which was so I cool. I loved this scene so much. So they finally, because the last season we saw they were like on the way. Yes. And then they arrive, and um, there's a scene where she like just like bends down and like picks up the sand. She's like, I'm home. So moving. She just wanted to like touch it. Yes. And it was like no dialogue whatsoever. Perfectly done. They make their way up the long stairs. Yes. And then they go inside the room uh, where her like the throne room. Yeah. And then I think Tyrion and uh, Varys want to go in with her, and Miss Sande like holds them back. Like wait, she, they're, she's like give her them, a moment. Let them have. Let her have her a moment. Yes. And oh, I love that moment. It was so good. It's it was, perfect. Right. Yes. And she like makes her way into the war room. That's what it's called, right? The yeah. war room where they yeah. like, they have the little chest. The pieces. situation room. The situation room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And she uh, scopes out the scene, and then she goes, "Shall we begin?" And then it cuts to back. and scene. scene. Oh. So good. Ah, what a lovely way to start season seven. We're yeah. Ready. We're so excited for this. This is one of the best seasons of yes. all of Game mm -hmm. of Thrones. So everybody stay tuned because we will be also reviewing Game of Thrones season seven, episode two, and it's coming up shortly. So don't go anywhere. See you guys then. Bye-bye.